glad he's not sending an angel. I'm so glad he's not sending an emissary. I'm so glad he's not sending an ambassador. He is coming himself, King of kings, Lord of lords, strong and mighty, mighty in battle. People ask all the time, am I worthy? Am I ready? The truth of the matter is, is that not a single person on the planet has ever been, will ever be, or is right now ready. The truth of the matter is, is that Jesus is our ready. When people make decisions to follow Christ, he gives them what only he can give. He gives freedom. Freedom comes from what he did for us, what he is doing for us, what he will do for us. Jesus came so that we could have life so that we could have life eternal. I know so many people that say that this world is not the kind of eternity I wanna have. That's why he said, I am going to prepare a place for you so that where I am there, you may be also. He asked us to go into all the world to teach people what he taught us, his disciples, and to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today, men and women, young men, young women, boys and girls have made the decision to follow after Jesus Christ. An appeal is what comes at the end of a message. If it's not an appeal at the end of the sermon, it's only a motivational talk. What I'm asking you to do today is to make a decision to follow Jesus. You may say, I'm not worthy. You may say, what about my addiction? What about the abuse? What about the pain I've inflicted? What about the pain I'm going through? Do you know that Jesus didn't come for the saved? Jesus, he came for the lost. Today, if you're feeling lost, then your response is naturally, yes, Lord, I will follow you. I surrender it all to you. I'll give you the broken pieces because God, you can make beauty from ashes. My dear friend, I want you to know that there is nothing more precious in the sight of God than the salvation of his children. Today, when you make the decision to go out into that water, to get into that pool, you're saying, I'll take water because Jesus took the grave. You're saying, I'll take water because Jesus took the cross. You're saying today, I'll take the water and the resurrection that comes there because Jesus, he paid for my sins. Yes, the wage of sin is death, and that's what the devil wants to stop it. But the truth is, is that the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Every person that goes into that water today will experience a transformation from the inside out, a new beginning. What I'm presenting to you right now is an appeal for you to accept that Jesus is the only way. He paid the price for your sins and mine, and today we get to start all over in Him. At this 2021 Ghanaian Summit Revival, the whole theme has been never give up. What I'm saying to you right now is that this is not the time to slow down, to back up, to look back. This is the time to go forward. What I'm saying to you today is that we can never give up. Never give up because God will never give up on you.